Hi y'all, it's Kate, and it's been um, a minute since I've done one of these, but I wanted to jump on to show you this particular deck. It is actually from Spirit Halloween. Yes, this is an actually um, a, a tarot deck that's actually a part of their Halloween collection. Um, I saw this a few years ago. And the artist is actually on Game Crafter, but um, I didn't. I saw them in the store a couple of years ago, but I wasn't exactly sure that they were any good. And because the price was surprisingly at seven ninety nine, I didn't think they would be any good. But then I saw people um, posting them on Instagram, and I said, "Wow, this is a, actually an interesting deck." And I wanted to show you something, that this deck is actually really pretty chunky. Um, it's not like I expected. I thought it was going to be on flimsy cardboard or even paper, because sometimes um, that could happen with inexpensive cards. They're a little bit bendy, but they have this nice laminate on it. And yes, they are super, they are glossy. But I have actually glossier decks that I paid more money for. And um, just to give you a little bit of, uh, to show you comparison wise, if I, let's take this mini deck out. It's, it's a little bit bigger than a standard um, deck of cards. It's actually quite nice. And I thought I'd do a quick flip through because um, some people were asking me. So I'm just going to do that now. The cards are actually pretty nice. I and, and enjoy the art. I just wanted to show you something else that actually probably never ever happens in a, a deck this inexpensive. It comes in this really nice two-part box. I was um, really kind of excited by that. Let's see what's on the back. Oh, okay, so I guess for certain clientele, they're wanting that this is just for novelty purposes only. I'm like, why? Um, because people are probably scared of things that they don't know about, so chalk that up for that. But other than that, I mean, this is really a great deck for $7.99, and if you can find it, uh, in a um, spirit Halloween store near you. That's fantastic. I just got two decks because um, I really did not know if I would find these again. You know, um, they had about five of them in stock. I got two. I was going to get three, but then I saw this kind of cute banner that actually... Uh, goes with it which I thought was pretty cool they have some um, of the cards on here and this was the same price of a deck of cards I have no idea what so let's get on with the walkthrough I like this fool I like that it has the cat here just bring that up kind of looks like my Jamie who just Decided to plop on my feet. I like the backs. They're kind of cool. Um, they do have some um, symbols on there for water. For some stuff here. So I think it's uh, really nice. The magician's really nice. Let me see if I can get down. A little comfortable. The high priestess, of course, is the fortune teller. I love that the Empress is Callie. Super cool. The Sphinx as the Emperor. The Hierophant is a voodoo warlock. I'm not sure if they call them warlock. I think it's just a voodoo priestess, priest. Very interesting Lovers card, the Succubus. 
I don't know if I would actually call that love, but it's really a beautiful card. The chariot is centaur. I really am digging this um, justice card. It's really kind of cool. I love the drawing in this. The hermit is the yeti. Of course. That card is really nice. I like it. Wheel of Fortune is the Inquisitor. Strength is the Manicor. Hanged Man. Interesting. I like this death card. Um, it reminds me of, you know, uh, the death on the river Styx or Bonibus, um from Anglo mythology. Really super cool. Temperance is the sea nymph. I think this is really cool for this, the temperance card because um, this is one of my um, birth cards and I am attracted to the water. The devil. This fierce looking devil. The tower. The little gargoyle. The star. The moon. I like that it's the werewolf. The sun. Judgment. The world. Ace of Cups. I like that for the Two of Cups. I really like this Four of Cups. Oh, the Seven Cups looks really cool. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Just to say that there is actually no little white book that comes with it. Um, I haven't done much research on it, but I know the um, you can get the a little bit better copy through Game Crafter. Um, if I can find the link, I'll post it below. But they're going to be much more expensive than the ones at. Um, Spirit of Halloween. I actually like this Nine of Wands. It's really cool. I think she put a lot of work in it and I'm really happy to see that Spirit of Halloween actually selected a tarot artist to um, have a, a deck. I think that's really smart of them to do. I kind of am grooving this uh, 
Three of Swords. It's really cool. I guess this one for Drac, he's waiting. He's resting before he eats. Oh, I like this. Eight of Swords. Really nice. I don't know how good of a reader this would be, but the art, art is um, really cool. I think she put a lot of thought into it. I like this Queen of Swords. Pretty powerful. This King is awesome, too. For seven ninety nine, you can't go wrong. So I, you know, say go out if you're a collector, pick up a couple. Really fun. As I said, I I don't know um, what they'll read as, how they'll read for you, but they look um, really nice. I love the colors, kind of a Halloween autumn autumny vibe. I do have a few decks to review, and um, I will get to them, and um, I'll, I want to do uh, more videos as I go. I have a few to get through that I wanted to talk about, and um, I will do that in a future video, and have a great day.